Hey folks, we're back with another video. Here's uh, another top 10 free games uh, for the iPod Touch and iPhone. Uh, this is for pretty much a February, March, April edition. First one is called Heavy Mach Light or Heavy Mech Light. I don't know what they're going for there, but it's a pretty cool game. Obviously, there's a light version, which is the free one and the paid one. But as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of like Metal Slug in a way. I'll show you some gameplay here. You're basically this little tank rolling around. You got weapons, different weapons, power ups. You roll, you can jump, and you gotta kill the baddies in the level. That's basically the gist of this one. It's pretty fun. You should pick it up. Okay, so moving on, we've got Edge Light, which is a light version of a game called Edge, which is kind of a puzzle cube game. Uh, yes, I want to activate sounds. It's a pretty cool game, actually. Uh, I uh, I uh, implore you to get the full version. I'm on level 3 right now. I kind of just got it. So basically you're this little cube. I don't know if you can see this very well, but you're this flashing different colored cube. Basically you've got to go around the level rotating your cube and uh, get these little tiny cube power-ups. And you've got to find the exit also. While these things are pushing you around. And you get pushed and you can get pushed off and you've got to start over. and definitely worth picking up. So that's Edge. Next is Bounce On. And a lot of people uh, kinda uh, compare this to like Super Mario Brothers or something uh, but it's it's a little different. It's a platformer, it's not as good as Super Mario but it is free and it is pretty cool. You're basically a little ball and you can go to different uh, levels on the world map. And you can roll around and jump collecting various power-ups and all that stuff. Graphics are pretty good. Um, this level reminds me of little that Sonic the Hedgehog level in Sonic 2. But uh... Yeah, you can die. You got little cute sound effects and stuff. But if you like platformers, definitely pick this one up. And that one, um, all these are really worth getting the full version, I think. Next is Light Bike. Have you ever played that, uh, what's it called, snake game, where you try to draw a line around the other guy? This is basically it, too. You try to draw walls around the opposite uh, opposing player. I'm not that good at it, but uh, some people are. You got boost you can do. Oh, I lost. So red won that one. Yeah, in the full version, you you have uh, co-op. You can play as two player with someone. Lost again. I'm not very good at this, obviously. So, the idea. So yeah, that's another one worth picking up. Uh, next is Tower Blocks uh, 3D, I believe it's called, a light version. It's kind of like Topple, but the graphics are prettier and um, it's a little more. The physics are a little better, and obviously it's 3D. And do a quick game. So yeah, you got these building blocks, and they're swinging on a crane or whatever, and you got to drop them, and then keep dropping them on, stacking as high as you can go. You can do combos if you do it within the meter. It's getting kind of wopsided now. Oop. Oop. Trying to get it straight here. Straighten out, straighten out. I don't want to lose any. Oh, we got one of garbage cans on the side now. There we go. Doing alright, doing alright. Combo started. Let's see if I can hang on to this combo here. 
Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So that's the gist of that one. Um, next is Tap Defense, which I'm sure a lot of you have already. Um, but it is free, and it's, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty in-depth. and has a lot you can do for just a free uh, Tap Defense game. Tower defense type state. So obviously you got build, research, and play. Uh, at the beginning you can build arrows, arrow stations, bombs, water. So I'm gonna build some arrows here. You got a set amount of money. And there's a couple different modes actually um, that you can play, and it's definitely worth picking up if you're if you're a fan of the tower defense type games. So. I'm going to play here. Send the little minions a long way. I'll try to destroy them here. And we can research to get magic towers eventually, and ice towers, and uh, earthquake, which you shake your iPhone, your iPod Touch, basically does an earthquake and can damage the enemy, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty addicting, actually. So yeah. That's basically that. Uh, next is... Another brick game, if you like the type, you know, breakout type uh, brick games. Brick Breaker Revolution 3D Free is what this one's called. It's kind of snazzy. It's, it's more 3D than most of the other brick games that are out there, as you can see. Move the paddle, break the bricks. There's, more, there's a lot of power-ups in this one. You can have a mine, which is pretty crazy. Which basically you can send along the bricks. I got another one. Yeah, that's basically that. Next we have Sway Light, which is actually one of my favorite ones. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of comic book themed, the presentation is and stuff. You like this little frog. And basically, it uses the... Uh, the touch mechanics really well, I think. It's a little short because it's the light version, obviously, but this one is definitely worth picking up for free. Or uh, the full version, I mean. I think it's like $5.99 or something. But uh, yeah, you're this little frog swinging, and you gotta swing your way to the end of the level basically and pick up power ups. What you do is you grab a hold of them, and you kind of swing them in a motion, let it go, and swing again. It's really fun, and I was surprised about how well this was done. Woo! Yep, and there's the goal at the end. So 22 seconds to finish that one. Uh, basically that's set. And Zombieville, USA. It was a pretty fun game. There's a lot of zombie games out there on the iPod Touch now, but this one's uh, kind of a linear shooter type one. Show you, that. you like this redneck looking guy fighting his way through zombies. The light version is really short, but it's pretty fun and it's definitely worth trying out if you're interested in getting a full version. You got your you got your pistol, you got a shotgun. I'll show you that. And you can go inside the houses and collect money and power ups and stuff, but I'm just showing you this. I wish you could jump in this, but they could always add that layer, probably. Yeah, this is a pretty fun one. I shoot light. A lot of you uh, were talking about this one, and so I decided to give it a whirl, and it's pretty sweet. Let's start. You get a list of weapons to choose from at the beginning of each level. So, uh, stinger missiles, mm, might as well. I got two of them. That's all I got. You aim, you aim your cannon by using your finger, obviously, and then you can see the angle, you can see the weapon you're down, down here, and you can hit fire and charge up, bam! Then everybody else takes their turn. So on and so forth. And uh, whoever wins the most rounds pretty much wins the game.